Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to episode 6 of Perry Presents. So I have some really exciting pop news for today. Jade from Little Mix, Anne-Marie, KSI, Alexandra Burke and Nadine Coyle are all set to join Celebrity Bake Off for Stand Up To Cancer which is all going to charity. It's on Channel 4. I'm super excited for that and I can't wait to see it. Woo! Cardi B is back in the building with new single Up and new music video. She dropped it at exactly the same time, so be sure to go and check that out. So Dua Lipa is back with another edition of Future Nostalgia, the Moonlight Edition, which is out next Friday, February 12th. Dua Lipa will also release her new single We're Good on Thursday, February 11th. Can't wait to hear that. Dua Lipa is completely owning it during this lockdown. She's been releasing song after remix after song, working with legends like Madonna and Kylie. It's incredible. What is she going to do next is my wondering. What is Dua's next move? Be sure to let me know in a comment below. Martin Garrix and Tovlo have released new single Pressure which is out right now. Be sure to check it out. It's a tune. I love Tovlo. I love Martin Garrix. He's awesome. Fun fact for you. Did you know I once met Martin Garrix and he was lovely and he's such an awesome artist. Be sure to check the song out. I'm a sucker for you. It's been exactly a whole year since I saw the Jonas Brothers live in concert for their Happiness Begins tour at London's Wembley Arena and it's incredibly exciting to find out that Sucker by the Jonas Brothers has reached 300 million views on YouTube and this is their second video to achieve this. Yes guys, I love the Jonas Brothers, they rock. So following the success of Olivia Rodrigo's driver's license, she has now revealed some very exciting information about her new album. So this will be her debut album and she said my dream is to have it be an intersection between mainstream pop, folk music and alternative rock. I love the songwriting and the lyricism and the melodies of folk music. I love the tonality of alt rocks. We're going to see some alt rock from Olivia Rodrigo. Can't wait to hear that. Marina and the Diamonds have dropped a brand new single Man's World remix featuring Empress of and Pablo Vittar. So Ariana Grande has announced a deluxe version of Positions featuring 34 and 35 plus 34 plus 35 Megan the Stallion and Doja Cat are on that track and she's also announced there'll be five new tracks on Positions Deluxe and I can't wait to hear what those additional tracks are. So exciting news has been revealed about Spider-Man 3. Tom Holland has obviously been filming the movie, which is really, really exciting. And there are rumours that the previous Spider-Mans will return. So that's Tobey Maguire and, of course, Andrew Garfield, which is incredibly exciting. But not only that, it has been rumoured that Emma Stone and Kirsten Dunst will also return, which is so exciting. So we'll have Tom Holland and we'll have Zendaya joining them. Who knows if this rumour is true, but it certainly seems like it might be after Tom Holland posted to Instagram this week, which seemed very, very likely. He's also revealed to Variety that... I can say that it's the most ambitious standalone superhero movie ever made. You sit down and you read the script and you see what they're trying to do and they are succeeding. Yeah. It's really impressive. I've never seen a standalone superhero movie quite like it. Can't wait to see that. Also, in some super exciting superhero movie news, Thor and the Star-Lord have been spotted on set for Thor Love and Thunder. Yes, you heard that right. Chris Pratt and Karen from Guardians of the Galaxy have been spotted on set for the new Thor movie in Australia. So can't wait to see that. Also in other movie news, Cinderella starring Brandy and Whitney Houston is coming to Disney Plus on February 12th. Very, very excited about that. And also, this is sort of movie slash TV news slash YouTube news. I just wanted to give the most amount of love to Jojo Siwa who recently came out and she said, if I lost everything that I've created because of being myself and because of love Loving who I want to love, I don't want it. She's incredibly brave for her age, coming out to such a young audience, and I love and respect her so much. So thank you, Jojo, for sharing your story. Thank you for coming out and living and being your true, authentic self. We love you. So, straight onto the TV news, and Riverdale has been renewed for Series 6, which has been confirmed this week. Obviously, we are two or three episodes into Riverdale Season 5, which I'm loving. It's very, very different, a little bit confusing at times, but I'm here for it because I love the cast in it so I can't wait to see what series six holds very very exciting indeed and then of course we had the Golden Globe nomination
collections come out this week which is really really exciting and something I've been really obsessed with the last couple of weeks is Shit's Creek. I'm now on series five of six on Netflix and I'm just loving it and it's been nominated for a total of five awards and can I just tell you if you haven't seen Shit's Creek you must go and check it out. It is one of the funniest most fun and playful kind of sitcoms you'll ever watch. Be sure to go and check it out on Netflix right now. So some movie and theatre news now. Dear Evan Hansen, the movie has been confirmed for September 2021 and it's being produced under Universal Pictures. The film adaptation will star Ben Platt reprising his Tony Award winning role. Can't wait to see him play Evan again and performing alongside a cast that includes Julianne Moore and Amy Adams. Cannot wait to see that. That's Dear Evan Hansen, the movie out in September 2021. So exciting. And then also in musical movie news, News. Wicked the movie has been announced to be happening which is really really exciting and John M. Chu the director of Crazy Rich Asians and In the Heights is taking to the land of Oz. He has inherited filmmaking duties from Stephen Daldry on Wicked's universal big screen adaptation of the hit musical. So Daldry departed on the project which has been in the works for over a decade last October due to scheduling conflicts. It's still unclear who will star in the film or when it will be released but Wicked was taken off Universal's film schedule amid the coronavirus pandemic but now Chu has shared his excitement on social media writing most of my life I have felt out of place weird and different I hid behind my camera because people like to be filmed and I could disappear but when I saw Stephen Schwartz and Winnie Holzman's Wicked over 15 years ago as it was being workshopped in San Francisco I couldn't unsee it he said on Twitter so to think that I have been invited to bring this timeless story to the biggest screens all around the world for people to experience with their family best friends and total strangers of all walks of life ages shapes and colors is like i've been invited to oz by the wizard himself so he teased who wants to play elphaba and galinda or glinda i say galinda because if you've seen the musical you know what i mean so let me know in a comment below who do you want to see play elphaba who do you want to see play glinda hmm i could name a few but i want to know yours first so let me know in a comment below i'm a nylander i am a nylander I'm a Nylander. I am a Nylander. You can probably guess the next bit of theatre news, which is, of course, that Come From Away, the original Broadway cast, is going to be recorded for streaming. Now, I love, love, love this musical, and I can't wait to see the original Broadway cast return to play this incredible musical. It's being filmed, so hopefully it will stream slash come to DVDs, but it's also playing in London, so please go and support the theatre. It's one incredible musical that I highly recommend. Also in theatre news, it looks as if we will be returning to Land of Lola. Of course, Kinky Boots the Musical is set to be released on Blu-ray and DVD and I can't wait for that. I love this musical. It obviously was on Show Must Go On a few months ago during lockdown and I just adore it. So I can't wait to watch it on DVD over and over and over again as many times as I like. I love that musical. And then new musical alert, Fisherman's Friends, the musical has been announced. Now I love this movie. It was brilliant, so inspiring, so uplifting and so lovely. And it's been announced as a new musical based on the true story of the Cornish singing sensations. And the musical is stated for a tour in the UK from autumn 2021 with a West End run planned for 22. Can't wait to see that. So that's all from Perry Presents episode six. I hope Hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did then be sure to click subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified every time i upload i'll be back next week at six for all of the latest pop music news and tunes entertainment news including theater tv film and so much more i will see you next week at sunday at six bye for now